Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to share with you a beautiful spring inspired sweater. To tell you the truth, I actually saw somebody wearing something like that when I was in Florida not so long ago and I looked at the lady, she was gorgeous. She had that gorgeous, vibrant sweater and I thought to myself, I can crochet that and I can share it with my crochet family. And here I am. Look how beautiful it is. I will also post, I'm wearing it right now and I will also post it right here to show you exactly how it looks like. What I absolutely love the most about this sweater is that the base Forget about the sleeves, but the base of the sweater is only made with double crochet. It is the simplest sweater you will ever do. It's very, very simple. So it's really good for beginner's crochet. And if you want to continue and create a very simple sweater, not with those sleeves, you just continue um, the sleeve straight and you have a very simple fishing net kind of sweater which is perfect for the summer and the spring so that is going to be the first part of the tutorial today and then next week i'm going to show you exactly how to create those beautiful flared boho style sleeves that i am totally smitten by and of course i will take you through it slowly but surely as usual one step at a time i think this sweater would be perfect for cinco de mayo as well I also added those really cute earrings to go with. I think they're perfect for it. But yes, we all have spring fever. We are all so happy that spring is officially here. I think the first day was yesterday as I was filming and editing my video for you. I will also put all the information about the yarn and everything in the info box down below. I will try to put substitution yarns as well for you. And that is it. I hope everything is well with you. If you are not subscribed to my crochet family, what are you waiting for it's totally free click on the subscribe button it's right there below the screen and don't hesitate to hit the little bell so you will be notified every time i post something new what else can i tell you um yeah follow me on social media if you would like more of me and that is about it so if you are interested in learning first the pa part one which is the basic of the sweater and then next week the sleeves then keep on watching and in the meantime happy crochet love you and see you next time bye all right so take your yarn and your crochet hook and make a slip knot and then you are going to proceed by making chains you are going to make 62 chains in total Once you have 62 chains, in the third chain from your hook, you're going to make a double crochet and then make a double crochet all along each and every chain. Once you have 60 double crochets, you are done with your first row. You're going to chain three and turn your work around. And you are going to make the second row by making a double crochets all along. At the end of your second row, you will have 60 double crochets in total as well. And you are going to repeat this row over and over again, back and forth, back and forth, until you have 27 rows in total. This is what your work will look like once you have 27 rows. And now we are going to create the collar and the shoulder. Super easy, let me show you how to do it. So you are at your 28th row, you're going to chain three, turn your work around. And now for row 28, you are going to chain three, turn your work around. The chain three will count as your first double crochet. And then you're going to make 16 more double crochet. So pick up 16 double crochet. And I'll meet you once you have 16 double crochet plus 
the chain three so if the chain three counts as your first double crochet that would make 17 double crochets in total Once you have 17 double crochet, you're going to decrease by turning two double crochets into one. Yarn over and through the next stitch, yarn over and back. You will have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over, yarn over through two loops. Then you're going to do exactly the same in the next stitch. Yarn over through the next stitch. Yarn over and back. You have four loops on your crochet hook, yarn over through two loops and then yarn over through all the loops on your hook and you just turned two double crochets into one. You just decreased. You are done with your 28th row. You're going to chain three and turn your work around and we are going to work on row 29. Chain three. And in uh, the first double crochet, pick up a double crochet right there, and double crochet all along that 29th row. And you are going to pick up all the double crochets at the end of your 29th row. You will have 17 double crochets in total, including the chain three that counts as your first double crochet. And we are done with our 29th row. For row 30, chain 3, turn your work around and you're going to double crochet and you're going to go all the way until the end of your row and at the end of your row you are going to decrease, turning the two last stitches into one the same way we had done before. And at the end of your 30th row you will have 16 double crochets in total. And for row 31, chain 3, turn your work around. And right there, make a double crochet. And another double crochet. That's 3, 4, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fifteen at the end of your row thirty one, you will still have sixteen double crochet for row thirty two. Chain three, turn your work around. Here you see how beautifully the color is shaping, is taking shape. Love it. So you are now at row 32 and you're going to repeat again double crocheting until the two last stitches 
and then turning the two last stitches into one at the end of row 32 you will have 15 double crochets in total we gently decreased to create the color shape And just like that, you just created one side of your collar and as the same at the same time, you created the shoulder. Time to fasten up. Take your scissor and fasten off. And now you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side of your shoulder, on the other side of your work. So you're taking it from row 28, but on the opposite side, and you are going to leave stitches in the middle. Make sure you work on 18 stitches the same way you had began the row 28 on the other side. And repeat rows 28 to 32. Of course, the opening and the decreases should be on the opposite side to create the color, just like so. And you're going to repeat row 28 to row 32. But this time you are going to decrease, of course, on the opposite side. So join your yarn and um, chain three and begin row 28. There you go. So you join and you chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. And then you do 16 double crochets. And you repeat exactly the same and I will meet you once you are at your row 32. All right, so now you are done with the front and for the back, you're going to repeat from row one to 27, but you're going to continue just straight until row 33. Once you are uh, done with row 33, you're not going to fasten off and you're going to join the shoulders. You're going to slip stitch both of the shoulders or sew them together with a tapestry needle and I'll show you exactly how to. You're going to match stitch to stitch and you're going to pass your crochet hook at the right corner through one part of your uh, work which is the front and then the back part of your work you're going to match the other stitch right there and pass your crochet hook through that stitch too and then you're going to yarn over and through both of the sides of your work the front and the back you're going to have two loops left on your crochet hook and you're going to pass it through that loop as well let's do it again through one stitch to the opposite stitch yarn over and through all the loops on your crochet hook <coughs> and that is slip stitching and you're going to do that all uh, along the shoulder part of your work creating the shoulder seam. Slip stitching along the 15 the double crochet, the 15 stitches that we had left from row 32 from our shoulders and assembling those 15 stitches with uh, the back. Whatever stitches were left on the front part of your work, the shoulder part, you're going to slip stitch and you will stop right there and do exactly the same on the other side for the other shoulder. I will meet you once you are done. And this is what the seam will look like on the right side. Seamless, beautiful. And now we are going to work on the sleeves. From the seam, you are going to count 12 rows and you're going to pass your crochet hook through that 12 row. So it's from the side, coming from the side of your work through the chain three, really, that was the beginning of your row. And you're going to join and chain three. And once you have those chain three, which will count as your first double crochet, you're going to pick up double crochet all the way up to the seam. So it will be one double crochet per chain three on the side, and then another double crochet in what looks like a little hole for a single crochet. Let me zoom you in so I can show it to you a little better. Here we go. So here you have the chain three coming from the side of course you pick up one double crochet around that chain three just like so and then right next to it you will see kind of something that looks like a little single crochet opening right there and right in that you're going to pick up right there another double crochet and then another one in the chain three right here 
right there and you continue like that all the way up until you meet the seam And when you meet the seam, you're going to repeat the seam going down on the other side of your work from the seam down and doing the same thing uh, over 12 rows. So picking up double crochet, one in the chain three and one in the little, what looks like a little single crochet. So you should have the same amount of stitches on one side of your seam than on the other side of your seam. I will meet you once you have the number of stitches you need so for me it was 44 stitches in total 22 stitches on either side of the seam so when you have 44 stitches in total you are done with your first row of your sleeve so we have been working in rows but from now on from the second round we will be working in rounds and we will be working on those 44 stitches over and over and over again. So what you're going to do now is slip stitch at the top of the first chain three you had made at the beginning of your sleeve. Slip stitch right there. And then for your round two, you're going to chain three and then you're going to make double crochets all along, all around that round two. And you are going to continue like that, making double crochets around and around for a number of eight rows. And I will meet you at the end of your eight row. Don't worry where you just joined, there is a opening, but we will sew it in no problem at all. And now what you need to do is just slip stitch, putting your work on the wrong side and slip stitching both of the sides to assemble your sweater. Alright, so next week I will show you how to create those boho flare sleeves. But if you are not interested, if you want a very simple fishing net kind of crochet sweater, you just continue the same way you have been crocheting from row 1 to 8 for the sleeves. And you continue until you have the length of the sleeve that fits you. All right, but if you are interested in knowing how to create this beautiful boho style sleeve, then let's meet again next week for part two of the tutorial. Cannot wait. In the meantime, happy crochet. Bye. I'm Chiquita Banana and I've come to say bananas have to ripen in a certain way and when they're flecked with brown and have a golden hue, bananas taste the... You can put them in a pie. But bananas like the climate of a very, very tropical equator.